Okay, look at question number four. The diagram on the right shows part of the line, line of best fit of y over x against x given y equals 5x minus 3x squared find the value of k and h okay so now this is the straight line or the equation of uh, a linear equation a linear equation here is achieved when we have here is y over x against x but then the equation that is given to us this equation is a non-linear equation y equals 5x minus 3x squared is a non-linear equation so if you are going to draw by uh, drawing a table of x against y we are going to get a curve or a, um, a curve like that as uh, you have learned in chapter 2 quadratic equation okay so what do we have to do because this is a a straight line so you have to change from the non-linear to a linear um, to a linear equation so what do we have to do would divide by x or divide by x squared okay so in this case uh, we are talking, we want to compare this to, to this part, to the drawing. So what we have to do, we only divide by x, okay? So earlier in the chapter, might, might be, I suggested that we can do two ways, divide by x or dividing by x squared. But once we are uh, comparing to the one given here, so we have to only, uh, in this case, only one way that is in this case divide by x so we divide all by x so we have y over x equals 5x over x minus 3x squared over x then simplify we have y over x equals 5 minus 3x okay so um even though there are uh, i'm going to what i'm going to explain is not relevant to this question still uh, the gradient uh, for this straight line will be negative 3 and the y intercept will be 5 uh, but then so how do we find the value of h and k we substitute substitute one coordinate to another coordinate I think this is not the way to write down h and 3 oh yeah that's correct okay so we substitute what you have to understand x is h and 3 is y over x how do we know that this is not y but y over x look at the the, uh, the axis here if this is labeled y over x so this is y over x. If this is labeled as y, so this is y. So substitute, we have 3 equals 5 minus 3 h. And solve the equation. So I move that negative 3, uh, 3 h. So it become 3 h on the left side. So 5 minus 3. So 3 h will be equals to 2. So h will be 2 over 3 and how to find the value of k we have to do similar thing that this is x this is y over x so in this case it will be k equals k equals 5 minus 3 times 2 okay Replace this with k, 5 still remain 5, 3 remain 5, x is 2 now, so it's 5 minus 6 equals to negative 1. So we have got the value for h is 2 over 3, and the value of k is negative 1.